Hello and welcome to Forestia in Conversation, Forestia's podcast series where we give the floor to our experts. I'm Neila Bashen and today I'm talking to Asem Ayaganova, Customer Advanced Development Leader in Forestia Clean Mobility. After completing an engineering master's degree, Asem joined Forestia as a young graduate four years ago. This episode is part of a special edition of Forestia in Conversation, marking the International Women in Engineering Day. Hello, Asim. Hello, Neila. You've started working at Forestia right after graduation. Could you introduce yourself and your career path? Yes. So I completed my bachelor's degree in chemical engineering in Kazakhstan. And after that, I decided to come to Japan to study my master's degree in Tokyo Institute of Technology. I got a scholarship from a Japanese government and did research in lithium-ion batteries. During my last year of studies, I just went to Korea Fair and met people from Foresia. That's how my Foresia journey began. So I was uh, doing uh, business development engineering uh, for first nine months. Uh, so I was doing market analysis, research for Japanese government, uh, OEM and supply strategy for hydrogen and fuel cell cars. And at the end was uh, helping to define a strategic plan for Japan for zero emission cars. So after nine months uh, at business development, it was very interesting for me to see a real Foresia business. And I decided to become a program development leader. I was uh, designing uh, and uh, doing development of exhaust system of, of the project from the request for quotation till the mass production stage. And also from the beginning of this year, I support for promotion of innovations to Japanese customers. When did your love of tech begin? I think it became in my early childhood. I was very amazed how the technology worked and wanted to know how to build it. Also, when I was a kid, I was really afraid that I will be lost in the inhabitant islands or will go back to the past and will not be able to re reproduce TV or bicycle. When I was six, I was asking my parents to buy me piano, not just because uh, I was loving the music, but because uh, I really liked that it doesn't need uh, any electricity to work. Could you share with us your proudest moment? So now in my mind, I have two moments in Foresia. First was uh, when I saw my first prototypes. So I was working for the project around one year and was doing all the design and discussing with the customer about all the design changes. Uh, and at the end, when the prototype built in China came to Japan, uh, I was able to see result of my work. And later, we also went to the customer testing ground and saw our parts installed in the real vehicle. At that moment, I was really proud that I am an engineer and that I really designed it And this product would still be on the road maybe after five or ten years, who knows, maybe more. As an engineer, you can see a real uh, result of your work. And another moment uh, I had just recently. So a customer came to our plant to see the manufacturing line. And I was showing to them our parts and how I assemble it. And... Um, in between, I just got a comment from engineering manager that, of course, uh, this is a good part. It's a Foresia designed part. And I was really, really proud that the customer had a, such a good impression of our company. After three years of development and uh, close working together. And this gave me a lot of motivation to work better and to provide a better quality product to our customers and end users. Forestia has set an objective to reach 30% of women among its managers and professionals by 2025. But we often talk about the automotive industry as a male-dominated environment. What is it like to be a woman in the automotive industry? Uh, maybe not just in automotive industry, there are also very few women in engineering school, uh, especially in Japan. From my university studies, I got used to be, in the most cases, the only woman in the room. I think it's uh, hard at the beginning when you don't know the people and people don't know you. And 
of course it's difficult for everyone but uh, as a woman you also need to be very confident in yourself speak louder and give more evidence that you are right and that you know about the topic you are talking about so as a woman we need to show that we have experience and that we are very confident but uh, i think after you already built this uh, credibility and have shown that you are able to solve problems and perform well I do not feel any difference between men and women. What advice would you give to women who want to become engineers? I want to say them, uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to take a responsibility or to take the job because you think maybe you are not good enough or not yet prepared. And uh, as a woman, we tend to take less risk and rather choose to be very confident in our job. But even you are not confident, just show people that you are confident. Also, as per my experience, I want to say that it's possible to manage both family uh, with the kids and the career in engineering. So uh, don't think about it like for the future. And if you hesitate or you don't know, just to find the role model around you. It can be a real person or it can be the book or some mentor or the person you can talk about uh, all your worries. Thank you, Asem. Thank you, Neila. That was Asem Ayaganova, Customer Advanced Development Leader in Forestia Clean Mobility. You can find us on our website, forestia.com, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Join us again next time. <laughs>